everybody. Happy Saturday. Hopefully you're well. Enjoying a beautiful North Carolina day. Very pleasant. I'm sitting in the garage right now, but that's okay. Get outside a little later. Cup of coffee. Percolated. Fantastic. And uh, picked up an estate pipe. This has uh, been a having an, uh, my eye on a Cavalier pipe for a while. This is a GBD. Uh, it's a pre-1980 pipe. Cool thing about a Cavalier pipe is you're supposed to be able to unscrew that. And your moisture can come out here. So that you get a cooler, drier smoke. I don't know if that's really translating, but I still like the shape. Anyhow. Titus is in the, in the bowl. My, my 400 pounds of Titus came in, so I'm pretty happy about that. Have that ready to, to be consumed. Anyhow, I'm going to tell a quick story today. And it's, it's Ohio State Buckeye game day. So I want to tell a story about my first Ohio State game. And um, my experience. So, it was 1987, November 14th, is when my first Ohio State game was. It was against Iowa. And I think Ohio State went into the game 4-4-1, four, four, and one, and Iowa went into the game 7-3 and three, or 6-3. and three. This would have been Earl Bruce's last year before he was fired. My mom and stepdad were ushers at Ohio State. They got to usher, then they get to watch the last quarter or two of every game. And so I rode up with them. <coughs> and I didn't have a ticket, so I'm going to have to scalp. I'm a 15-year-old, you know. I'm not I'm not intimidated by the big city of Columbus. It's not what it wasn't then what it is today. I will tell you that uh, going to an Ohio State game now and then uh, <laughs> world of difference. So on the way up, I'm getting coached up by my mom and stepdad on how you know there's going to be plenty of scalpers. This is what they look like. This is what they'll do. They'll hold their tickets up. You know. Don't buy the first one you come across. Blah, blah, blah. I'm mean, just giving me the whole rigmarole. Right? So I get up there. And we park. And I go along. I think it was High Street. That's where I was. I, I can't remember. Maybe it was Lane. I, I, I don't remember. But I was near the stadium. Pretty sure it was High Street. And, uh, of course, they went to do their ushering duties, left me to scout. So I'm just walking around for a minute. And sure enough, there's everybody with their signs holding up tickets. This is back when, you know, he, even though it was illegal, they, they didn't really bust on scalpers as much as they do to some extent now. People holding up their tickets, blah, 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 blah. Um, So the first guy I come to, he's got tickets in, in the corner of the end zone and uh, wants, wants $20. So not listening to what I was told and, oh, corner of the end zone, that's fantastic. I buy the first ticket I see. I'm going to the game. I'm envisioning these great seats in the corner of the end zone. He, you know, told me right where I was going to be. Well, what he didn't tell me is they were field boxes. And the field boxes were actually uh, folding chairs on the, on the field level. So you had a little bit of obstructed view. But I tell you what, I was pretty doggone close. And uh, it was pretty cool. Game goes on. We're actually, Ohio State's winning. Here's the thing I'll never forget about that besides buying the first ticket that I came across. 
High State's up 27-22. There's 20-some seconds left, maybe. Fourth down and 23. Iowa has the ball. Down five. Fourth and 23 at the Ohio State 29-yard line. For all intents and purposes, the game is over. This is the last play of the game. Just don't give them 23 yards. They're out of timeouts. Field goal doesn't help them. Just don't give them a first down, guys. Chuck Hartley was their quarterback. And they had an amazing tight end uh, named Marv Cook. Who was just, you know, always seemed to come up with a big play for them. It felt like Marv Cook was there 400 years. I swore that guy played tight end at Iowa for 400 years. I swear he did. So, 4th and 23. Oh, and they're coming to the end zone. I'm setting him. So, I've got a pretty good view of this, right? I wish I hadn't had a pretty good view of this in hindsight. Hartley takes a snap for center, drops back. I think it's a three-step drop. Fires a bullet to Marv Cook, who catches it at the Ohio State nine-yard line. It's about a 20-yard gain. Tackling guys and the game is over. Mm -mm. He proceeds to cut back to the inside of the field, make a move, and... Takes it all the way into the end zone. Touchdown. Here come all the Iowa players celebrating and jumping around or partying in the back corner of that end zone. Right where I was set. In the back corner of the end zone. I had to watch it all. Talk about a dejected stadium. Talk about your first game ever. I will tell you, Ohio State have been to many, 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 many Ohio State games. And I, other than the two bowl games, the citrus and the sugar, I don't recall being at a regular season game where we lost. And I've been to many. I've been to games all over. I've been in 20, uh, 2002 when we won the national title. I was at all the away games that year. Because I, I lived in Illinois. I went up to Northwestern. Went up to Wisconsin. Went over to Purdue. And of course went down to Illinois. Mm. Heartbreaker. Talk about heartbreak. First game ever. Scalped the ticket, and they caught and scored right in front of me. Damn Marv Cook. Never forget it. I'll never forget it. Ever will forget it. That's my story. Would love to hear your story or your thoughts, um, whether you're an Iowa fan, Ohio State fan, or anybody else fan. You know, do you have a story that, that is similar, like, your first college football experience. You, you went, maybe you scalped a ticket, maybe you didn't, maybe somebody got you in, I, you know. What was that experience? Man, I would love to hear about it. would love to hear about it. So that was mine. I believe it was November, I know it was 87, I was 15, I know it was 87. And I believe it was November 14th. Now, the, the, the very next week, I'm spending the night at my friend Brian's house that is the week of the infamous Ohio State comes out at Michigan and we tear their damn big go blue banner down, the players do. We tear that down. We go on to win. Carry Earl Bruce off the field. And uh, he goes out. He's fired. John Cooper comes in next, which was, oh, hell on earth. But I digress. But yeah, my, my good friend, my good friend Brian, I, I stayed, uh, we stayed at his dad's 
Never forget, watched the game that day. I watched it again, I believe, on replay on WLSU that night. And then watched it again on Sunday morning. Can always catch it on Sunday morning on replay as well. On WLSU. But now, folks, I bored you long enough. Going to finish this bowl of Titus. A little bit of a ghost in this pop pipe, so I got to chase that out of there. Whoever had it was, was definitely an aromatic guy or gal. We'll run some Titus through it. And maybe some Northwoods and get some light in there. And we'll clean it out. Anyhow, be well. We'd love to hear your experiences if, if you have a similar story. It's kind of stuff that's fun to me. Take care of yourselves. Wash your damn hands. And we will see you next time. Have a great day, everybody.